My husband and I were arguing quite frequently. I just wanted to get better. He didn't fully understand. Hashimoto's is this disease where you can look fine on the outside, but you just you just wiped out. You know, your your thyroid's being torn down, and it that that hor the hormones that are created affect every cell in your body. I remember what it was to sit on my couch and to to think, oh my gosh, I'm 270 pounds. I'm afraid to leave my home. My skin is bleeding. My hair is falling out. I. I'm stuttering because my brain is so toxic. The doctors have told me that I will die and that if I do live, I'll never have children. It was sad. It was a part of my life that I sometimes want to forget about. It was really tough because your, your relationships basically get destroyed. This isn't easy to understand. I mean, there's so many components and I couldn't express it. I'm now divorced. Um, and looking back on things, I just wish he understood I was sick. You need to examine maybe what's your commitment to this person. Now that you know that this is a, a serious health issue, and it's not just in her mind. There might be something out there, someone out there who has symptoms that don't even realize that they actually are, because I was one of those people. I didn't know that was a symptom of Hashimoto's. I was just thinking I was crazy. And I was drifting in this very beautiful place, full of light, and I knew that if I continued to go in that direction, I had to make a choice to either go back or just say goodbye to this life. I was enraged because I had lost a baby to hypothyroidism. I decided that I was not going to go conventional. I found another way. I'm brave for the others out there who are struggling. And I want this to touch them and to let them know that it's okay and we're here and we're not alone. I have my life back. I have, I'm functioning, you know, I'm, I'm full of energy, I do exercise, and when I'm tired, I rest. And when I have a bad day, I rest. We are opening the access point to experience transformation is the very first step. And then to say, I see where I'm running my life from fear. I'm willing to live it by love. If you need to be heard in some way, you can do it. It really is about taking action. I'm well, I'm in remission. I've been in remission for three years, and I just had a baby, and I feel the healthiest I've ever been. Still I rise. I will keep on walking, and I will keep on fighting, and I will keep on maintaining my health.